Okay, so let's go ahead and put our uh, single pull double throw lever switches on our bot. Now we want to make sure that we attach these at the ends and that we put them so that they sort of stick off the edge and they're at about a 45 degree angle like that. And so we're going to take a little bit of hot glue, put a little blob on that corner and a little blob on that corner. And then we'll take our switch and we'll set it there and we kind of want to make sure that the hot glue does not push on, it does not interfere with the lever. There we go. Like that. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put some batteries in and this is basically just to provide some weight to help hold the battery holder and switches in place. Now when you do that be careful because you don't want these two wires to touch. If the two wires touch they'll short out the batteries and melt the housing and cause problems for you. So you don't want that to happen. Um, so what we do want to do now is we're going to take another wire. This is a solid core 22 gauge wire and we're going to strip off a, a good bit from the end. Let's take off about three quarters of an inch and we'll just take that, run it through our wire strippers there and pull that off. And then what we're going to do with that wire is we're going to hook it through the two holes. You can see there's holes in these con connections here. We're going to hook it through those two holes and then we're going to connect this wire to it. And uh, so that's going to allow us to connect two sides of our single pole double throw switches and give us an extra wire that we can use for lighting up our LED eyes in a little bit. So we'll take our uh, needle nose and we're going to try and bend the wire so we can loop it through. See if we can make this work. And it's kind of tricky to do but if you can get it you want to run the wire through the hole in the uh, leg of the switch because it's going to give you a better uh, connection when you solder it. There we go. And it just takes a little bit of, of time working on it to get it in. You can see I think I popped this, I did, I popped this switch loose. So what I might do is actually just Peel this hot glue back up, that's okay. You want to make sure you get all that hot glue out if that happens to you. Just peel it up out of the way. And um, this is actually a good thing because it may mean that we can connect these switches a little bit more easily. But I'm going to put some more hot glue down and then put the switch back in place. There we go. Again, make sure you keep your fingers out of the way of that hot glue because it will stick to them and it's, it's definitely not fun to get it on your hand. And there we go. So now we have the switch in and the wires connected. Like that. Okay. And uh, let's see if we can might want to maneuver a little bit more see if we can get a little bit more of this wire through yeah Okay, so now we can take our red stranded wire and we have something, we have a little piece of the solid core that we can tie onto and solder everything together. So we're going to cut this wire down and then we'll take our strippers and strip off a little bit of the excess. There we go. And then we can take this red wire and bring it up and we just want to twist it around that solid core wire. Oh. 
Okay, like that. So now we've got a good connection and we can solder that in place. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna take our soldering iron, make sure we tin the tip, remember? And uh, a little bit of tin there and uh, knock off the excess. And then I'm gonna put the soldering iron right there and try and make sure we can get enough heat to the wire to get it to uh, get the solder to hold on to it. There we go. And let's uh, it's good there. And there's just one little place here where I need to make sure I've got a pretty good connection. So I'm gonna there you go. Now we need to connect the next wire, which is going to be our, our white wire. All right, so in order to do that, we're going to take a white wire here and just going to take a, a little bit of the end of that off. And I think what we're going to do, we'll take off about this, this much of the insulation. And so we're going to run this wire through here like that. And we've got our, we don't need the insulation in the middle as long as we keep the wire away from the, as long as we keep the wire, the white wire right away from the black wire, we should be fine. I'm sorry, as long as we keep the white wire away from the red wire. Okay, there we go. So this now gives me, so we want to make sure we keep that wire away like that. Now gives me uh, a place to connect to for the black wire. So this is the other side of our circuit and we're going to connect to that. We'll cut it right here and then we'll strip off the excess insulation again. And now we're going to connect our, our black wire. So now we should be able to take our solder and solder all the parts together. So we're going to solder the wire and the switch right here. And then we're going to solder the black wire and the white wire together right here. And then we need to solder the white wire to the other side, the other switch. And so now we have our connections. Now we don't need a whole lot of extra um, wire there so we can trim off the excess. And it's okay to sort of push it out of the way. Definitely don't want your black wire that's connected to the white one here to touch the red one. Keep, so keep those things apart. And I think I'm going to put a little bit more solder on that joint there.
There we go. That way it all sort of flows together. And again, we want to make sure that those switches still work. 